Oh, oh my God. What's up guys? I got the boat loaded up. Let's go hit the river. Nice little bluegill. Uh, whenever the fish get really big, like when I'm using like big hand sized bluegills and stuff, I'll hook them in like the back tail region, like most of you. But when they're smaller like this, I just like to uh, hook them right through the lips. That's a lot of hook exposed. Um, now, I started doing this, I started messing a lot of fish. But I found my issue a lot of the times, you know, whatever fish that you're after is generally just going to grab it right about here, run off with it until it feels comfortable, and then it's going to take it the rest of the way. So letting them take out some line is really important when you're hooking them this way. There we go. Right through the lips, out the nose. Oh yeah. That was a gar. All right guys, I think I gave the spot long enough. All right guys, I'm on my second spot. Now this spot doesn't look amazing. As you can see, there's a lot of debris around. There isn't like a solid log jam like I would like, but uh, that far bank, it's really deep. There is structure around. Um, so I know there's being fish held in some of this structure right here. If I cast upstream, especially with the cut bait, it washes the scent down. Um, if, if they feel like eating, it should be enough to bring them up to my bait. So uh, that's what I'm gonna try. There's a run. Oh, dropped it. Something finally picked it up and dropped it. All right, yeah, something's definitely playing with that. It's running with it. There it goes, he's moving with it. He's still pulling it down. Whatever's on there, I got it. But I'm wrapped up in a tree or something. All right, I'm gonna do the old Richard Jean special here and uh, try to do what he calls a flapper. I, you know, I know usually he's using like a shad or skipjack or something bigger. 
Oh my god. Look at that snake head. See if we Oh. I was getting ready to feed him. He just took off. Not snake head, bowfin. Gosh dang, they look so much alike. Yeah, hopefully we don't have snake head here yet. But he smelled his cut bait that I dropped in the water right there. He's coming to get to check it out. Anyways, back to the flapper. I'm gonna try to cut it as he would with this bluegill. And uh, try to put some extra scent in the water. Okay, it's probably not exactly how he did it, but pretty close. Someone's got a hold of this bluegill over here. I can't even get a pull cast it out. All right, guys, it is a big live bluegill on this pole. Just pray to the flathead gods. Whatever it is, it's still playing with it. Oh, right, I'm gonna go ahead and cast my flapping bluegill out while we wait on that fish to commit. Don't tell me it let go. No, it's still on there. It's just. It's all in there. It's just getting me wrapped up and stuff. It's getting me wrapped up in a bunch of stuff. This is a monster fish. Oh my god, don't tell me it let go. It's a big fish right now. Big fish. Oh my goodness. What do we got? I think it's a big cat. It is a big cat, I believe. I'll stay over here. Yeah, let's go, it's a big blue cat. You're kidding me. Guys, this is my first big blue cat. I only caught little, like three little dinks. Let's see if I can get him in the boat first here. Oh. Here we go with the death rolls. There he is. My biggest blue cat. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Look at that guy. Man, guys, I'm shaking. 
here in Indiana, we don't have very many blue cats. And uh, the ones I've caught have been so small. <sighs> I finally got one in the boat. Let's get that hook out and get a closer look at him. Oh my god. I got another one. Yes. I think we're about doubled up. I just got that blue cat in the boat and my drag just started screaming. It did. It let go. Whatever that was. That seemed like a big fish too, the way it was taking the drag. Alright. Back to the blue cat. There he is. That's a fat one. Uh, I'm gonna call it about 15. My biggest is probably, I don't know, five pounds. All right, guys. Here he is. 15 pounds, nice, fat blue cat. Something's running with my other, one of my other lines right now. All right, let's let him go. All right guys, I still got some poles in the water, but it is, uh, it's like 9.30 and it's about to get super dark, super fast, so, uh, I just heard one of my pulls. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and reel these bad boys in and uh, head back to the truck and get myself home. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you like that content, please hit the thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I'm just gonna keep fishing. Oh yeah, I got something hitting right now. I'm gonna do my outro. If I'm lucky, I'll have another fish on. But either way, see y'all next time. <laughs>